Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel talk shows. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The city has been dropped by the hugely popular show and a radio personality claims it's because of concerns about crime. The live broadcast features segments in other major cities to share how New Year's Eve is being celebrated around the U.S. New Orleans has been a part of the show since 2017. Being featured in the holiday special brought a lot of attention to the area as people tune in to watch Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve from across the states. The city and state contributed hundreds of thousands of dollars to subsidize the cost of the live telecast. A local radio personality said, citing a source, that crime in the city played a factor in the decision to bring the live segment elsewhere. I mean that's a high-profile thing to drop, and my source tells me that they didn't want to come because of crime, and they didn't want to tell people to come here because they didn't feel it was safe, said Scoot, per ABC affiliate WGNO in New Orleans. Scoot believes the segment being dropped will lead to more unfortunate events in the city before it can snap back. With Dick Clark pulling out, is this going to bring so much attention? Others will pull out before we can successfully change the image of New Orleans. Scoot said, per WGNO, I hope the city accepts whatever help the state is offering. Scoot believes the city is ignoring efforts to make it a safe place. This is an area where New Orleans has not wanted to necessarily work with the state to make things better all the time. I do hope this manifests some real changes because the crime problem is awful here, Scoot said. New Orleans governor-elect Jeff Landry commented on the show shakeup. This is the sad reality of the city of New Orleans right now. No one feels safe, Landry said on X, formerly known as Twitter. However, New Orleans and company president and CEO Walt Lager has denied the claims and put the blame on finances instead. It was never communicated that crime was an issue, Ledger said, per CBS affiliate WWL in New Orleans. In fact, they loved being here. They wanted to continue to be here, they just wanted to receive a financial subsidy. He added, You've got extensive coverage that we'll be getting from a national semi-final football game. Texas and Washington coming into the city. A lot of excitement around that. We're projecting 95% occupancy on New Year's Eve and an NBA game with the Pelicans playing on New Year's Eve.